<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, let's have a look at Bitcoin. And we'll move on to some other videos, some other coins, if that's what you're interested in. So, first of all, Bitcoin um, sinking, or should I say, pushing itself back into the Bollinger Band area on the daily chart, which is to be expected. Um, but more than that, um, it does look to me as though it wants to come back up to test this um, bottom area of the what was support, which is now going to be resistance around 7,700. Now it might not reach that area, it might get front run, because the overall direction is definitely down. Um, I'll, unless you've watched my videos, I'll show you just very briefly a few things to be aware of. We'll go in reverse order. So monthly candles, we've got. Uh, it would appear that we've got a fourth red candle um, in Bitcoin's history. It's never had more than two red candles on a monthly chart on a, in a bull trend, which, um, like I say, we, we, we made a third last month. Looks as though we're creating a fourth, so that's very, very bearish. On the weekly chart, we had a fresh Ichimoku cloud cross here above the cloud, so suggesting continuation down, um, which is what I expect um, to take place. Excuse me, excuse me, breakfast coming up there. On the daily chart, uh, we closed uh, beneath the uh, 242 the other day and opened beneath it. So uh, that's uh, again something that's never happened in a Bitcoin history of a bull trend ever. So very bearish. And we have this incoming death cross, which looks like it's only going to take a couple of days now to play out. So um, all for all those reasons, the direction is down. However, today it looks like it might might pop up. Could be completely wrong over this because, like I say, the, the overall direction is down. There's way more indicators that suggest downwards trend. Uh, it looks like we've got a death cross or just appeared here on the um, just uh, plain old moving averages, which aren't which aren't as good of an indicator as the um, uh, exponentials, which is what we're having here. But yeah, a fresh death cross today, and uh, a, a meaningful death cross is going to take place over the next few days. So. I wouldn't really fancy going long on this, to be honest with you, um, even though I do expect to see a little bounce, perhaps, maybe only get to 7,600, uh, but to be honest, it might, it might get pushed up to this level here before rejection. Um, like I say, when the overall direction is down, you want to you want to move with the trend. You don't really want to be um, buying up bounces unless they get to significant support levels, which I would expect to be this level here, around 6,800, and this level here, around 6,600. That might be worth buying it and buying it back for a bit of a long. Mind you, I'm not a financial advisor, so it's not financial advice, but that's that's my game plan. And so I shorted this, I've shorted it many times now actually, all the way from uh, 11,200 I've been shorting from uh, and closing them at, uh, I should say, and I'm not holding on to my shorts, so I close them at appropriate uh, times. So I, I, I don't actually have any trades uh, going on at the moment. But my next trade, even though I expect this to fall, I'm not going to be trading anything until perhaps we get to this level. Um, 7,700 would be a great level to for me to enter into a short. That's what I would be prepared to do. Uh, short this down to 7,000 flat, uh, and then wait for it to go down beneath that to perhaps maybe buy buy some and go long on it. Um, but even when I do go long on it, there I'll be looking to close it off probably around this level that it is right now, around 7,400. Even though there's a good chance. I say a good chance. There's a there's a reasonable chance that it might have continuation from 6,600. It might continue up from there. It might actually spark a reversal. I find that a little bit unlikely. That, however, as we are about to have this death cross take place, so the death cross will signify a much deeper drop than uh, 6,600 or 6,800. So um, it's uh, like I say, it's a very temporary measure just to get a little bit of. A little, a little bit more money in the game um, for that bounce on the way up because that should be a relatively good move um, of around about six to eight hundred dollars worth of, of price action there. So I, I want to try and get involved in that one, but it could go completely wrong. So tight stop losses uh, is something that I'll be employing on that one. Uh, so for the moment, um, like I say, um, what we're looking at here, um, we've got terrible RSI on the daily. We've got a pretty bad um, MACD on the daily. Um, weekly and monthly is also really bad. We go to a, a smaller time frame, which I haven't really been looking at for very long, to be honest with you. I, I generally just trade dailies at the moment because I don't have as much time as I used to have. Um, it looks like it wants to, like I said, I do believe it wants to 
make that move to pick itself up, and that would, on the four hourly, coincide exactly to the centre of the Bollinger Band, uh, to that 7,700. So, I would expect a rejection from there for two reasons uh, certainly that reason, and also the uh, this uh, support and resistance box that we've got in here. The first, the first pass of that is definitely going to be that level there. So um, rather than me sort of trading on a whim and buying it here and going up, I'm just going to wait for that to pop up and then allocate a nice short position um, with uh, r relatively low leverage, just not go crazy on that one. Because uh, even though we have an incoming death cross on the daily, it's not happened yet and this could completely just rock it right up. All it needs to do really um, to avoid that, when I say all it needs to do, this, this, this is quite a big ask for it to do that. The price action needs to rock it up and above about 9,200, which would also break this this downwards trend that we've had all this time. If we could break above there, then I would be turning bullish again. But at the moment, everything, like I say, is bearish. We've got the itchy cloud on the weekly. We've got the four monthly red candles. Um, we've got the incoming death cross. We've got the already um, already confirmed death cross on the uh, simple moving averages. And we, we we are actually now beneath the uh, the, the two four two, um, which is only going to take us if we were to try and get up to there, which I would expect a rejection from. That would only take us to eight thousand fifty five at the moment. Now that is moving up still constantly. Uh, so that resistance, which I expect would be a significant resistance, um, is moving up, but that won't carry on for too much longer if our price action doesn't doesn't move up significantly. Um, there's not really a great deal more to say on Bitcoin, there's no point in dragging this one out, so like I say, overall is bearish, everything's bearish, all I'm looking to do now is wait for this pump to allocate a nice short position and continue with this bearish trend. You've got to move with the trend, the trend is your friend until the end of the trend, and the end of the trend is, is far from close, um, in fact you could probably say that there's an argument to suggest that we're, um, we've still got another 35% drop ahead of us. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you have a nice day, and take it easy.